All right, so thank you so much for joining us on Tech Hub, Buddy Bello. I mean, I'd like to hear your perspective on the use of uh, SpaceX uh, Starlink's internet you know, connection in uh, or services in Nigeria as it were. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, I, I'm sure you were pretty eager to lay your hands on the device and use the service, you know, even before it landed in Nigeria. I want you to just give me the overall performance of, you know, the, the, the use of a service that is specifically SpaceX's uh, Starlinks in Nigeria. Okay, uh, so for me, I think for my work, uh, quality internet is like very, very important um because i need to be like online like a lot of times i need to like do a lot of video meetings and stuff and it's something that i've really struggled with um cuz i've tried like so many options especially around where i stay i stay in abel kupa and the internet just flunks it and i mean i have like this mtn i netflix that i use um at times it's pretty decent but most times it's not good enough um, so I still needed something better. And I've tried like multiple ISPs around um that claim to offer really good internet. But so far, none of them has been like able to like meet my expectation. The internet is good enough if you just want to surf the web. But if you have regular meetings, it just doesn't work for you. Um, the latency is really bad. The speed is terrible as well for video calls. Um, so it just didn't work for me. So when I heard that. Starlink was going to be available in Nigeria. It was something that was exciting for me because I felt it was going to like solve some of the problems I had. So I had like my hopes eye and I had like an high expectation for it. Uh, so despite like the costs, it's something that I was willing to try out because I was like already so frustrated and I was thinking of probably I'll just move away from me and probably go to Lagos or something to a place where I could get like better internet and stuff. Cause I was already like considering um, the options I had, especially after like spending so much on different ISPs and still not like getting value for your money. And satellite internet is something that I haven't really explored. I haven't explored like the other options I had. You see what we are saying, Badi Bo. You see what we are saying. As we were speaking, yes. my internet just tripped off, <laughs> ended up the conversation, and I had to, my goodness. We need quality internet services in Nigeria. But why did you have so much trust in the, in the service? Because it is a satellite internet, it means um, that even if I'm in a rural area, so far, uh, they say that they're serving my country regardless of where i am i should be getting like approximately the same speed even if i'm in about as someone in lagos right and i just like read up about it and it felt like really fascinating averagely i get over 250 mbps occasionally i get up to 400 mbps i mean that's very decent and the latency at times goes as well as 18 milliseconds uh, sometimes average around 25, at times it spikes up to like 40, but I've never seen it like go above 50 or whatever. So it's been, I'd say it's been a good investment for me. Although um, I'll say I've, been, I've had like slight glitches with it because um, for video calls, because um, it has like a dish that you have to like place in a very good location that faces the sky and whatnot. And the higher, the better, basically, because it gets like face clear sky and there's no obstruction. And then they have like the application that you can use to scan the sky to see where it's obstructed and where it's not obstructed. And where I'm placing it currently is partly obstructed. And that's because I can't place it on the roof yet because one, I don't have like the mounts. And two, I'm a tenant here. So I need to like speak to the landlord and stuff to place it on the roof. And even if I want to do that, I have to like get a welder to construct a mount and stuff for me. And it has to be a good one so it doesn't like damage the um entire thing. Because I've been checking on their store and they previously had like mounts for mounting it on the roof, but that's not available yet. So I'm just placing it somewhere on the fence in the compound that is facing the sky, and there's like a building partially obstructing it. 
So when I'm having meetings, at times it just gets obstructed and gets cut off for like five, 10 seconds. At times it can be longer, but it's occasional, right? And that's basically because I don't have the dish at a very good and elevated place. Um, but I believe that's going to go away if I'm able to place it on the roof. That, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. At least you understand what the challenge is and you'll be able to, you know, do what it takes to have it fixed. So did you, um, mm -hmm. did you have to use an arm and a, uh, and a leg to, 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 to buy it? Did you, and what was the process of, you know, getting it like? I mean, it's fairly expensive compared to like other internet services we have here. But the cost of purchase is a one-time thing, and the cost of subscribing every month is decent, even though like a lot of people still consider it like very expensive. But if you want to get like fiber internet that has that same speed and quality, you'd pay more for it. And I mentioned earlier that the other one I got that promised 50 to 150 Mbps. Um, was about 60,000 a month and there are like other ones and averagely for unlimited internet at like a very good speed you'd rarely see any fiber internet that offers something as well as 30,000 for a month mm, trust me in this generation of DIYs you know it won't be difficult for people to have it fixed but the question remains in the era of 5G where you know, life is being made easy. You don't need to install, uninstall, put a satellite dish that we did back then uh, when we just started having um, the cable te television. A lot of people don't want that kind of stress. Um, would Nigerians want to go through such? Uh, that's the question I'll have to leave Nigerians to answer. But thank you so much, uh, uh, Badibo Bello, for giving us, you know, your experience, letting us on your story and uh, how um you are using the starlings you know the newly introduced starlink uh, starlings internet services in nigeria and um, we'll get back to you hopefully a few months down the line maybe two or three months to find out if it's still the same or there's some level of um, improvement so far thank you so much Badibo. yeah it's my pleasure thank you Tim. tech hub for a smarter you